What's going on, people? Boxing video, uh, Tony Yoka versus Carlos Takam. Uh, wow. Uh, Tony Yoka was coming off losing. Forgot the guy he lost to, but he lost his last fight. Someone got a split decision in that last one when he clearly lost. So I'm thinking, okay, he's coming back. His comeback fight is versus Carlos Takam. And he... He's probably going to win versus a 42-year-old former contender, Carlos Takam. I remember Takam fought Anthony Joshua back in 2017. But you figure Yoka should win a fight like this. And this dude just gets handled. And I thought Takam won nine rounds in the fight. I did not think it was competitive. Even hurt Yoka badly a few times, especially in that last round. I'm just not seeing it with Tony Yoka. You know? And then we get to the <laughs> judges' scorecards. And, of course, we have a split decision which Takam won, but the fact that any judge had considered giving it to Yoka is insane. Big upset. And now Yoka, a former Olympic heavyweight gold medalist who has uh, lost back-to-back -back fights now. I think it's safe to say he is not a contender in the heavyweight division for the foreseeable future. He has no power. He does not have any fast twitch. He seems to not have any major speed. You know, he's got a footwork and a pretty good jab. That's about it. And above all else, man, he doesn't seem to have the heart. He, he doesn't seem to have the dog. You know, you're down. You're about to lose back-to-back -back fights. You're in that 10th round. How do you just fight so passively? I think he's a very amateur style. He's basically like an Anthony Joshua, but without the power and way less heart. I, I'm not seeing it with this guy, and I don't want to see Tony Yoka in a main event for the foreseeable future. So that's what I got to say about that. Tony Oka ain't it. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.